Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna to be talking about what to do if you were to break down. These first set of rules are gonna to be to do with uh, any road that isn't a motorway, okay? Um, so first thing we need to think about is think about other road users. If possible, try and get your vehicle off the road like I have into the lay-by. If you haven't got a lay-by, pulling as far to the side as possible, try not to block the pathways because you've got to think about pedestrians as well. With that, once you're pulled over, has the lights go on, if visibility is reduced at all, think about using your side lights to make sure you can be seen. Thinking about it, your hazard lights, they'll only be on for 50% of the time anyway. Where possible, try and stay away from the carriageway and think about using your emergency triangle. Now the highway code tells us we need to put it at least 45 metres before our vehicle. On my car itself, it actually tells us to put it at least 100 metres before your vehicle. Think smart, think about the speed of the road you're on and think stopping distances. And remember to wear something reflective or fluorescent to help get yourself seen. Make sure not to stand between your vehicle and any oncoming traffic. Stay clear of the road if you can. As for on the motorway, we have some additional rules to follow. If your vehicle does start to develop an issue, try to drive it to the next exit or services. If this is not possible, try to get to the hard shoulder or emergency refuge area. Try to pull up next to an emergency telephone. These are generally about one mile apart. You should use these where possible, as it is harder to locate where you are via a mobile phone. Never reverse or turn around on the motorway for any distance. As you do come to a stop, pull as far to the left as possible and turn the wheels to face away from the carriageway. This will help prevent the vehicle from potentially rolling into traffic. You should exit the car via the left-hand side away from the active lanes whenever possible. Make sure it is safe to do so. Ensure that your passengers do the same. You should leave any belongings and animals in the vehicle. If you must remove the animal in an emergency, ensure that they are under proper control. Once you've exited the vehicle, you should stand as far away from the active carriageway as possible, even up the verge or opposite side of the crash barrier where one is available, and keep children under control. Do not attempt to place any warning triangle, it is simply too dangerous. If you need to, walk to the emergency telephone. You should do this while facing the active lanes and continue to face the traffic while on the phone. The nearest phone should be marked by arrows on the markers at the side of the carriageway. These phones are placed opposite each other, so you should never try to cross the carriageway to reach one. Only ever use the one on your side of the motorway. While on the phone, they'll ask for details. Please provide these as best you can, including if you're traveling alone, if you're disabled or vulnerable, or if you have any older passengers. Once you've done this, return and wait close to the vehicle away from the carriageway. If you feel at risk from another person, return to your vehicle and lock all the doors. Once it is safe, leave your vehicle again. If you cannot get to the hard shoulder, then you should switch on your hazard lights and your side lights if visibility is reduced. Do not attempt to place any warning device. Only leave your vehicle when you can clear the carriageway safely and keep your belt on until this point. For disabled drivers, you should follow the same advice. However, you may need to stay in your vehicle and keep your belt on. Turn on the hazard lights and display a help pendant. If you have a mobile phone, contact the emergency services and be prepared to advise of your location, including but not limited to which junctions you're between and direction of travel. If possible, try and find the nearest mile marker. Before rejoining the carriageway after a breakdown, you should build up speed on the hard shoulder and wait for a safe gap essentially using it like a slip road where possible. Remember to be aware of other vehicles that may also be using the hard shoulder.